The majority of Perch apps work in the same way. You install the app, then you'll find there are page functions to get the data onto your pages and template tags to create templates. This is really the same as regular Perch content. You have page functions that create regions or allow you to do things like filter content, and then you have your templates. So in these next few tutorials, we'll be working in the function reference part of the Perch documentation. And inside that function reference, we have blog. And you can see all of the functions listed here that are used in the blog. And some of these are pretty powerful. You can do lots of things with your content. So we'll start building up our blog using some of these functions so you can see how it works. As I mentioned in the last video, pages aren't automatically created when you install the blog app because Perch assumes that you kind of want to have some control over that. So we need to create pages. And we're going to do that from this template page that we've created in HTML. So that's got our blog design in it. It's just an HTML page. So the first thing we want to do is to list out on the home page of the blog, list the posts that we've got available. So I go into my code. This is that blog HTML page we were looking at. And you can see it's got the posts listed here. So this needs to be a PHP page. What I'm going to do is I'm going to save this. I'm going to create a new folder called blog. I'm going to save this as index.php inside that folder. And then what I need to make sure is I've got the Perch runtime included at the top so that we can start to use Perch. Now we could obviously add other Perch content here, which we might do later to let people edit the masthead and so on for the blog. But for now, let's just look at the blog content. So we can scroll down here and we can find where those blog posts are being listed. And we're going to delete all of that content because we're going to add this in using Perch. So now I want to add the blog listing function right here. So if we have a look in the docs, we're going to find Perch blog recent posts. Now this is kind of a utility function. Um, it's essentially like using Perch blog custom, which we'll have a look at later. But Perch blog recent posts is a quick way for us to display some posts on our blog. So we can get that, just copy that out of the docs. And then we can just paste that onto our page. So you can see here that I'm passing in 10 because I'd like to get 10 recent posts. So now we're going to want to go to our new blog folder in the web browser. And you can see that our posts are starting to be output to the page. So they don't look quite the same yet. And that's because we haven't changed the default templates that ship with Perch. We'll have a look at that in a later video. For now, you can see we've got two posts appearing and that's the content that's there in the Perch admin. Now we've also got this archive here, which is still hard coded. Now this information can be got with another function, Perch blog categories. We have a look here, here's Perch blog categories. And you can see all the information that you can pass in to Perch blog categories. So if we go back to our code, And here's that sidebar with the archive and the categories listing. So we can remove that. And here's a usage example. Most of the documentation has these little examples that you can just copy and paste. So we'll pop that in. And reload. Now you can see that the template there is outputting categories as part of the template. So we can go and remove our categories header from the page too. Alternatively, you could edit the template to do that if you didn't want the template to output the categories. Okay, there we go. That's looking quite nice. And you can see the categories that have got blog posts attached are now being output and you can see how many posts are in each category. 
So this is a really great start. We've managed to output our post to the page and we've created a listing of categories. Now at the moment you're going to get a 404 if you click on any of these posts because we haven't set up the actual post page and we'll do that in the next tutorial.